chances are if you watch this video, you clicked on either this thumbnail or possibly this thumbnail. This is talking about a brand new feature that YouTube has started rolling out, and that is the ability to A, B, C test thumbnails. Now, one of the things that people forget about when you are not a YouTube creator is that many times a creator will spend a lot of time before they even make a video crafting what the possible title and thumbnail are going to look like. In fact, I went to a vid summit where I saw Jimmy, AKA Mr. Beast, talking about how sometimes his team will make up to 10 different thumbnails to test with small variations so that they can test them across their YouTube channel to see which one is driving the most clicks. Now, for many Many, many years now, it has not been the case that YouTube has allowed multiple thumbnails to be presented at the same time, also known as thumbnail testing. Now there have been second party tools that have come in and been able to do as close as you can thumbnail testing or possibly even title testing, which has been a really big and popular feature for that tool. Now the thing that is different about having that in a particular paid tool as opposed to simultaneously serving up thumbnails you were served one for 24 hours at a time and then switched to the subsequent following one. But one thing that was nice about that and why that still might be an option for a lot of people as a paid tool, as an advantage, is that not only do you get the information about which one had better click-through rate, but you'll also get information as to things such as average view duration and satisfaction. Now, the ability for ABC thumbnail testing from YouTube is being rolled out. It has started beta testing with smaller group of users and it will be eventually rolled out to all channels. But this is a very big process, so take some time and it will be coming. And this is what it's going to be looking like. When you go to upload a video, the area in which you select to upload a custom thumbnail will look like this and you will be having the option to upload up to three thumbnails total. Now, unlike the other tool where you're going to see one thumbnail for 24 hours and then switch to another, YouTube is going to take all three of them and simultaneously be testing them. Now, one big question that did come up at the outset is what kind of metrics are they looking at for success in determining which thumbnail is going to reign supreme? Now, one might think that click-through rate or CTR is going to be the ultimate telltale sign of that, but YouTube has decided not to go with that one and instead go with average view duration. And I believe one of the reasons that they did this was to avoid the clickbait cliff. And what that is, is a lot of people would then go for the most crazy, ostentatious type of thumbnails so that they would get the click, but then the videos would not live up to the hype. Viewers would leave disappointed and therefore either leave the video quickly or even leave the platform altogether. These are actions and behaviors that YouTube does not want viewers to take because if they are dissatisfied with a video, a channel, an experience, and they click off, then they are not staying on the platform long enough for YouTube to do what they ultimately want to do, which is serve more ads to them. So any behavior that is going to kick people off the platform faster is not going to be rewarded in terms of showing it to more people. Now, one might want to also know what does it look like when you are testing these thumbnails. And one thing you're going to see is that when you have two, and you can do just two thumbnails or you can do three thumbnails, but when you see it, when you see it in YouTube Studio, it's going to look like a preview where you have either a split or then that triple box showing, which will indicate that there is a thumbnail test going on. Now, thumbnail tests do not run forever. And one thing that they are going to do is aggregate data and then give you a percentage of average view percentage, and then there will say that there is a completion of your test, and they will show you which one is deemed the winner. Now, one nice thing about the other tool that I talked about previously is that you do have the option to run for a specific amount of days. You also have the option that once a winner has been determined with statistical significance, which means there's enough data to make a decision, they can automatically set the thumbnail to that winning thumbnail upload. One other benefit of that other tool is going to be the ability to test something else other than the thumbnail, which is what most people think of with AB or ABC thumbnail testing, but you can also do it with metadata such as a title. And why you would wanna do that is to perhaps have a title running with a positive connotation and a negative connotation to see which one your audience would click on more. 
spoiler alert, it's usually the negative one. Now, this feature is going to be rolling out, like I said, throughout this year to more and more YouTube channels. Question for you, do you have thumbnail testing available on your channel yet? Comment it down below and let me know the result of a thumbnail test that you've run. Of my many YouTube channels, I only have thumbnail testing on one of them right now. For more videos about YouTube Explained Simply and video editing made easy, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you wanna watch another video, here's another one up here. I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye.